time of year again that you need to clean up your Google Classroom, archive it, and get ready for next year. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this classroom that I want to archive. But first, what I want to do is I want to use this classroom next year. So if I want to use the classroom next year and the assignments in there, if I make a copy, I'll go up here to the three dots or the snowman, click on that and click on copy. And then what it's going to do is it's going to make a copy of it. And so I'm going to change the name before it finishes the copy. And I'm going to change it to 2020 to 21. And now I'm going to make a copy of my classroom. And now that I've made a copy of my classroom, it's creating my class. And when it does that, it takes all the assignments and it creates them as drafts in my classroom. So now if I open up this classroom, now you're going to see if I go to the classwork tab that the lessons that I had in here previously are still here, but now they are drafts in draft form. So I'm going to go back to my tiles again, and I'm going to go to the class that I had this year. And now I'm going to actually open up that class. So what I want to do is I want to go to the grades tab and I want to check by each assignment to make sure that I returned the documents to the students in my class. Because once they are turned into me, I become the owner of them and I want to make sure that my students have the ownership of their documents. So I'm going to go up to the three dots on the assignment and I'm going to click on return all and I have a few that were not returned so I'm going to click on return and so I'm just going to check my assignments to make sure that I return the assignments to the students once I've done that again I'm going to go back to my tiles and now I'm ready to archive this class so I'm going to go to the three dots and I'm going to go ahead and archive that class And that's it. In less than a minute, you're done.